Hello, welcome to Captain Dorja's Armory with Captain Dorja. Right now we're going to take a look at a Jagdpanther battle, and this battle was crazy. This was one of those matches where it's better to be lucky than good. So, um, you can see here we're on a standard battle on the fjords. I'm just going to increase the size of the map here. And I'm uh, about midway up the team list in my tier 7 tank destroyer. You can see we have... Quite a few tier 8s on the enemy team, a lot of tier 8 heavies, um, one tier 8 medium, and then uh, just a sprinkle of tier 7s and then rounded out by uh, about 5 tier 6s. So I start off by deciding to go down south. And bitter experience has taught me that when you want to go all the way down south you need to take this low road or else you get shot in the flank no matter how fast you are. And the Egg Panther's pretty fast, but I just said no matter how fast you are, so I decided to take the low road instead. Now, you can see not a lot's coming with me. I've got an M5A1 Stewart, Tier 4 Chinese Medium, or Light rather. There's a Lerva, a Churchill Mark 7, and an IS-6, but they're all stopping near the middle. We also have a T29 and a T28 prototype way up in the base. So... This south road is looking pretty pretty light. And considering that, I decided to do something that's probably a little rash. Now, I've got this Stuart here with me. He's looking around the corner, and he's not seeing anything. And there's only one artillery, and it's an SU-5, so I'm not terribly worried about it. So I decided to come around the corner and see if I can get myself a, in a, in a uh, kind of a sneaky position to shoot anybody up in the center of the map and also if anyone starts coming my direction down the road I can shoot them and then retreat. Uh, take a shot at the Panther 2 and miss looking to see if I have an angle on the 25 AT but he's in cover. No other targets spotted. KV-1S lights up. I'll take a shot at him. Put a good hit on that KV-1S. This Yag Panther fully upgraded with its 105 millimeter gun has a about 200 penetration and 320 average damage per shot, and it's quite accurate, so it's a very good gun. Right, we're gonna get a little brave here. I start moving forward, haven't seen anything down here, so no reason to stay back. There you can see I put a 340 damage hit on that Panther too, and I'm gonna pause right here real quick, because this is where things start to get wild. I've spotted the Tiger all by himself down on the dock. And I decide to go for it. Well, I decide to go for it really soon. There we go, going for it. And I see that KV-1S and I start to, start to get a little worried. And then this happens. I am in a tank destroyer with 85mm frontal armor and only 850 hit points. And there you have, in front of me, a T-34 who will kill me in two shots. A KV-1S who will kill me in just over two shots. And a Tiger who would kill me in four shots. It'll take me two to kill the KV-1S. It'll take me uh, five to kill the T-34, and it'll take me four to kill the Tiger. And all I have with me is a Tier 4 Light, who is basically dead. So I'm in a really bad spot here. If I try to pull back, the T-34 will just kill me. So I decide to YOLO it. I put one into the T-34. And then I see the KV-1S and the Tiger coming around. And so what I do is I charge the KV-1S. I know I can kill him in two shots. And I ram into the KV-1S to use him as cover against the Tiger. And you can see right there, I just got a lucky bounce off the Tiger. The KV-1S hits me with a howitzer shell and I'm down to 212 health. So I come this way to run away from the Tiger's gun and to give me a chance to turn around and fire one more shot before I die. And I back up to get the building in as cover to help me turn. The Tiger shoots me. All he does is damage my track, and did you see that glorious ammo rack? Tell me that is not luck. 
Oh my word, world of RNG. Right, let's keep going. The T-34 is still in front of me. My tracks are gone. They won't be back up for seven more seconds. I'm just waiting for the T-34 to come around and shoot me through the wreck between the... Through... Well, the... wow, that was fortunate. The T-34 hasn't come and killed me yet. So I actually move up to try and fire between this building and this wreck. And you can see right there, there's a Panther M10 off to my left, but he's way over in the middle. Now the T-34 is coming around. I'm trying to take cover behind these wrecks. T-34 has no shot. And at this point, the friendly Lerva has come in and I have backup and I'm saved. I fire at the T-34 and put a good hit on him. He misses and now he's distracted by the Lerva and I'm trying to come in and get a shot on this T-34. I can see that a KV-4 is also coming up, that's not good. I wait for the T-34 to back up so I can shoot at his front, and I put another hit into him. Now, I'm just counting on the Lerva to be able to do 130 damage to that T-34, but this KV-4 is made that tough for him. So I've actually stopped even going after the T-34. I'm trying to go after this Panther M10. The KV-4 damages my track, and I'm not excited about that. I realize I'm not going to be able to hit the Panther M10, so I back up to get some clearance on the KV-4. Now, you can see the Lerva's in trouble. I'm trying to get around to shoot the KV or the T-34 and finish him, but the KV-4 is just not giving me a chance. Now, we're about to see the demise of the crappy Lerva. Yep, there he goes. He's dead. So it's just me, and I should have been dead a while ago, and I should be dead right now. But what I'm trying to do here is almost like, almost like side scraping, and miraculously I managed to get the first shot before the T-34. But at that point, the KV-4 comes in, mops me up, and I finally die. But talk about, talk about a battle where I had no business doing what I did. I was mixing it up with those guys for way too long. I took. Well, I have four damage ram on the KV-1S, but the moment I ran into those three guys, I should have evaporated. And I managed to kill all three of them, and my teammates only did 600 damage to the T-34, so almost all of that damage was done by me. But it was just so lucky. I was lucky that the KV-1S wasn't fully upgraded. I got a lucky bounce from the Tiger. I got a lucky ammo racking hit on the Tiger. Luckily, my tracks ate a shot from the Tiger. Uh, the T-34 missed me. The T-34 gave up trying to kill me and went after the Lerva. He should have focused me down and gotten me out of the way. But just everything that could possibly go right went right. It was just the, one of the craziest matches I've ever seen. And to top it all off, our team actually managed to pull the win out. So things went really, really well. Right, here we go with some uh, post-battle results. You can see that was uh, two times experience for the first win of the day, 2,870 experience. That's a pretty respectable double, 45,800 credits. I do have a premium account, uh, so that, you know, that's helpful. Mastery badge first class. Uh, I haven't driven the Ag Panther. Hardly at all. Something like five battles since the Mastery Badges came out. Um, that was already past it in the tech tree when they released the Mastery Badges. But uh, you can see right here, we damaged five tanks and managed to kill three of those five. Put a couple of good, put a good hit onto this KV-1 SM Panther 2, plus the three guys we were mixing it up with. Uh, right here, you can see top experience on my team. Also, top damage on my team uh, with 3205. Top damage in the match. This KV4 did 3092. So, you know, that's pretty respectable to come out top damage in that just ridiculous situation. And right here, you can see 28,500 profit. The one bad thing about the Egg Panther is with the 105mm gun, ammo is quite expensive. I only fired 10 shots and I had an ammo bill of 10,300, so it's about a thousand, about a thousand credits per shot. But even with a standard account, I would have made almost 14,000 credits. 
right here you can see 10 shots fired, 9 hits, 9 penetration, 3200 damage. Received 7 hits, survived a potential damage of 2245, which in a tank destroyer with only 85 millimeters of armor on the thickest point, and only 850 health, surviving 2250 damage is pretty impressive. Uh, only detected one enemy, damaged five enemies, destroyed three. Almost no spotting damage in that game because either that M5 Stewart was spotting things or I was doing the damage to things that I had spotted. But that was just that was just a crazy battle. You can see I was in battle for five minutes and four seconds before I died, and about three minutes of that was just pell mell. Oh my god. Turn, 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 dodge, dodge, dodge. Hopefully I kill this guy. Like that battle was just insanity. So, again, sometimes it's just better to be lucky than good. <laughs> that was definitely one of those cases. So, there you are. Captain Dorja with Captain Dorja's armory. And uh, just remember, you can never have enough big guns.